Hi, I'm Olivia Ellis, the UK Education Abroad Advisor for the College of Communication and Information. I'm going to be the primary contact for all things Education Abroad, or EA for short. As your advisor, I'm here to help you find the right program that fits your goals and to help you throughout the process. From applying to going abroad, all the way to making sure your credits appear on your UK transcript. I don't work alone though. Throughout this video, you're going to meet some other members of the UK EA team. We all play a part in your journey, so they'll jump in from time to time to show you what's wildly possible. Along with EA staff, you'll be working with a ton of different people across campus and around the world. For example, you should chat with your financial aid counselor to discuss using scholarships and aid abroad. And once you've picked out a program, you'll want to get to know on-site staff and faculty members who you'll be working with daily. But before we start this journey together, I want to introduce you to someone not in the EA office, but who will be a major help as you plan your EA experience. Hi, I'm Beth Barnes. I'm the Executive Director of International Programs in the College of Communication and Information. I'm the main point of contact between our college and education abroad. And I'm also one of the people in the college who can help when it's time to get your international courses equated to UK courses. Along with me, your academic advisor will be crucial to your education abroad experience. Your academic advisor can help you figure out which classes you have to take at UK and which credits are more flexible, meaning credits that you can be transferred in from a program abroad. Your academic advisor can also help you identify any other requirements for your degree that can be completed away from UK. Think electives, UK core courses, research projects, honors requirements, and so on. And just as useful, academic advisors can help you plan for when to go abroad. The Education Abroad Office offers programs that are as short as one week long, all the way up to a full academic year. Programs run over winter break, spring break, summer, and both semesters. So working with your academic advisor to find the right term and year to go abroad will be a key part of your conversation with them. Just be sure to bring up Education Abroad when you meet with them to identify some flexible credits and start planning. Now, some of the majors in our college do have restrictions on what can be taken abroad, so be sure to ask about that as well. Or take a look at the major advising page for your major. It'll spell out any of those limitations. And as always, I'm here to help and be a resource for you as well. I love talking about education abroad and helping our students think through the possibilities. I also teach some of our faculty-led courses in the college. I look forward to seeing you soon and helping you plan for your education abroad experience. And once you have the list of flexible credits, I can help you find the program that fits your academic, professional, and personal goals. When you've worked out the timing and credit details with your academic advisor, let's chat. You can request an appointment with me online. All you need to do is go to our website, click schedule an appointment, find me, Olivia, and click schedule an appointment. After that, you'll be prompted to log in, select a meeting time, and send me a message with some basic details about what you want to discuss. The more details, the better. Right now, all of our advising sessions will be virtual via Zoom. But if you have a significant need to meet in person, just let me know and we'll work that out. Now that's some pretty basic information, but before we get specific to you as a CNI student, we want to explain some other important elements of education abroad programming. To start, let's chat about our program types. There's faculty directed programs, which give you the opportunity to travel with friends and other UK students as a UK faculty member takes you abroad on a UK course. Most of these are short term programs, so think winter break, spring break, or over the summer. These programs are great for those that prefer to travel in a group, if you prefer more support from our office and your faculty member, or if you need a specific UK course. Some of these programs go abroad every year, but there are also new and unique options every year too. Then there are partner programs. These programs are offered through third-party organizations who specialize in education abroad programs. Through housing, helping schedule classes, airport pickup, providing in-country support, and all the way to planning some built-in excursions and fun experiences. These programs are available year-round, so you can choose when and how long you want to be abroad. The courses offered vary greatly from program to program, as does the price, but these are great options if you want some support and structure, but also want some free time. Another program option would be to go abroad with a UK organization. These programs are run by groups on campus and include an international travel, usually service component. 
Our organization programs include Shoulder to Shoulder Global, which travels to Ecuador four times each year to provide medical clinical service, as well as Alternative Service Break, which facilitates global and local service projects with local organizations and communities who welcome and rely on global participation. Now, if you're feeling adventurous and ready to plunge headfirst into a one-of-a-kind international experience, an exchange or direct program would be a great fit for you. With these programs, you attend a university in another country for a semester or an academic year, and you take classes alongside local students. And in many cases, the total cost to participate in a semester-long exchange program is less than the total cost of attendance here at UK. Now, depending on the program that you choose, you may have access to that university's entire course catalog or a more focused range of courses. But as the exchanges and direct programs coordinator, I can help you to find the perfect fit. While both exchange and direct programs give you the opportunity to live like a local, there is a difference with how you pay tuition. With an exchange program, you pay your regular UK tuition and mandatory fees to UK, and you don't pay any tuition to your host university. With a direct program, you pay a program fee, which includes tuition directly to the host institution. And in this case, you pay just one credit of tuition to UK for our EAP 599 course. I know this can all be a bit confusing, so if you're interested in pursuing an exchange or direct program, let me know and we can get into the details. But if you aren't quite ready to go abroad just yet, or you have a family member who would prefer you dip your toes into the water first with something closer to home, let me introduce you to the National Student Exchange Program, NSE for short. This is a domestic exchange program which gives you the opportunity to study away at one of more than 160 universities and colleges across the US, Canada, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the US Virgin Islands. And the best part? Well, you pay your regular UK tuition and mandatory fees to UK. There's no tuition to pay at your NSE host institution. So if exploring another part of this country while earning credit towards your UK degree sounds more appealing than going abroad, contact me and I'll get you started on that path. Interested in a global adventure, but would prefer to stay close to home? Consider one of our virtual global learning opportunities. A budget friendly, social distancing friendly, virtual program can give you the benefits of an education abroad program, but from the comforts of your own home or dorm room. Our virtual options also give you the most flexibility. You can fit a global remote internship or online course into your UK schedule. So for example, you could take online courses at Massey University in New Zealand as part of your semester here at UK. Or you can participate in a remote internship working alongside a marketing firm based in London, England, while you work a summer job in your hometown. Plus, there are no travel expenses involved. So virtual learning opportunities are incredibly affordable and we have scholarships available for you. So there's no excuse not to get globally engaged here at UK. So if you want a customizable adventure that fits into your schedule, helps you gain new skills working or taking classes in a different culture, but still allows you to participate in your favorite wildcat traditions, a virtual program could be a perfect match for you. Whew, all right, that was a lot. Six program types, faculty directed, partner, exchange, direct, organization, and virtual. If you've already forgotten some of those details, we've got them listed on our website, so no worries. But switching gears a little, let's talk about the type of experience you can have abroad as a UK student. Here at UK, we offer five different types of experiences, study, intern, teach, research, and serve. They're all fairly straightforward, but they can also be mixed to create a perfect package for you. And to take it even a step further, many of these are available in a virtual online format. Regardless of in-person or virtual format though, as a student in CNI, study and intern types might be best for you. And you can find those on faculty directed, partner, exchange, direct, and virtual programs. But we want this experience to be about you in the short and long term, not just you as a current student. So let us know if there's a specific experience type that interests you. And same as before, if you want to read a bit more about these experiences, check out our website. Okay, now I know that was a lot of information, but we've got all the general stuff out of the way. Now we can be a bit more specific to you as a student in communication information. Your opportunities are boundless. 
Explore wine promotion in South Africa for the UK faculty member. Discover the decadence of Florence, Italy while you complete electives with other US students. Or investigate the beauty of New Zealand on a semester exchange. And if you're feeling adventurous, why not take your dream even further by spending some time off the beaten track in a location like Fiji, where you'll have a one-of-a-kind experience. These are all real possibilities for students in the College of Communication and Information. And lucky for you, the majors in CNI have quite a lot of overlap in the programs that we offer. For example, Journalism, Integrated Strategic Communication, Comms, Information Communication Technology, and Media Arts and Studies all have access to a wide range of courses and locations via faculty-directed programs. Beth Barnes, who you met earlier, leads a few of those programs and takes students frequently to London, England, and Cape Town, South Africa. Faculty-directed programs usually go abroad over winter or summer break, so they're pretty easy to fit into your schedule. But I'd also recommend that you look into a semester in New Zealand at Massey University. This program will give you access to a large variety of courses, student organizations, and travel to some of the most beautiful spots on the islands and beyond. Now, there are several majors in CNI, and I don't have enough time here to go through all of the fantastic destinations and programs for each one. So if I didn't mention your major, don't worry, we still have some highlighted program ideas for you. Go check out our major advising pages or maps for short to see a highlighted list of programs and locations for your major. Remember, this is only a short list, so if you don't see something you like, check out our program search for something more up your alley. But you don't have to wait until you found the perfect program to start financially planning for this experience. At this point in your journey, talk to family, friends, and others who may be open to helping you pay for your program. You can also start looking up scholarship opportunities, some you might even be able to apply to right now. But once you've found the right program, you'll definitely want to apply for our UKEA scholarships. We have a wide range of scholarships and award amounts depending on you and your program. Check out our scholarships, deadlines, and a list of some other funding opportunities in our scholarship database. It's never too early to start planning out the money side of education abroad, so definitely take a look at that. You should also chat with your financial aid advisor and consider ways to do some creative fundraising. No matter what, if you have questions or concerns, just let us know. Ready to take the next step in your education abroad journey? Jump into our virtual fair. We'll have students talking about their experiences, a wide variety of faculty members talking about their upcoming UKEA program, and even some reps from partner program providers and universities who are excited to discuss their programs and locations. Browse a list of what's available and go chat with the experts. Oh, and don't forget, as a CNI student, I highly recommend that you check out programs from CNI faculty members as well as our partners. I know that's a lot of information to take in, but feel free to refer to this video anytime you need some guidance. You can also reach out to our general inbox at educationabroad at uky.edu. Enjoy the fair!